Hi, I'm Samantha. Welcome back to Samantha B Makes. Today I have a Hobby Lobby die lot clearance. So they get rid of their old die lots and usually it's just one of this and one of that and um, that was uh, no exception this time. So I have a bag and a box so I kind of I disguised it I put a costume on it like a uh, Joanne's bag okay never mind anyways just kidding just kidding um showstopper it's normally $9.99 I got it for $2.49 it has the specs of being a seven weight jumbo, 50% acrylic, 35% polyamide, and 15% wool. It is 26 yards <laughs> and has no recommendations for crochet hooks, which I would probably use a 25 millimeter. I have some of this already. Um, I think I showed it in my initial Hobby Lobby clearance. Um, I don't think I have this exact color, but I did find two of them. So I got two of these. Oops. Another uh, showstopper. And this is in the colorway Rainbow Riot. So it is quite beautiful. Um, so I've been looking what to do with these number seven jumbos and there are all kinds of pretty things to do. Um, like there's a necklace like that's weaved um, and it was a free uh, pattern. This is so soft. This is called Fresh Haven. It's pink. Um, to get a little close. It is so soft. Let's see what it's made of. It is um, recommended crochet hook size is 5.5. It is a four weight which I would argue that to be a three weight. I'm always arguing with them about <laughs> the weights, but I know what I know. 100% tensile. A cellulosic fiber obtained from wood pulp using recyclable solvents. That is also viscose is also that. So Okay, the next one is a low pill acrylic, 99% uh, and 1% metallic polyester. So, oh, this isn't showing how, there we go. And this is, was $3.99, I got it for 99 cents. It's a four weight. Um, Recommended size, six millimeter uh, crochet hook. Um, and you can wash and dry it. Okay. So, I'm gonna put these back in my Joann's bag. Even though it's from Hobby Lobby. I love these reusable bags. Now we'll crack open the crate here. Okay. There's some really pretty ones in here. And there were some that I hadn't seen before and then there's one in here that really frustrates me. I mean, I'm gonna start with this one because it frustrates me. It's called True Colors, okay? And they're calling this, no, 
Let me get this one out. Okay. This is called Uber Lux. They're saying this is a six. Okay, I agree. That is a six. They are also calling this a six. How is that? That is not possible. This is a five at most, a large four, but on the paper right here, it says six. And they all say it, all the true colors. They're 76 yards, five ounces, a number six, super bulky. There is no way. 100% acrylic, 10 millimeter knitting needles, nine millimeter crochet hook. It was $4.99, I got it for $1.24. I got it in pink. I got it in fall frost. Super pretty colors. I, I think my frustration was I thought it was a four. I got it for mom, um, for Amigurumi, and then I got it home and it said it was a six. And I mean, she can still use it for larger animals, but I just was frustrated that they were calling it a six. And then and it's just not. Okay, enough argumentative. I'm just gonna say what it is. This is ivory. This is gray. There's that. Um, this is called September Sage. Um, this is just white. Um, another ivory. I think this is another ivory as well. And then uh, rose. This one's really pretty. Um, just mauve. I don't know. It's not really showing the color correctly. Let me try this side. No, it's it's more like a darker color. That's blowing it out a little bit. Okay, then we had one black and one navy. And then there's one more black in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these back. I have these all on one side away from the other ones because I'm frustrated with them. Do you ever get frustrated with yarn when you know that it's not a certain weight? <laughs> I, it's silly, I know. Believe me, I know, I'm being silly. Okay, this is so pretty. This is Baby B Sweet Dream, Sweet Delight Pomp, an, an angel. And it's got some glitter in there or some sparkle. It's really pretty. Oh, I love it. It's got a free pattern on the label, which I always love. It's 54% acrylic, 36% uh, polyamide, and 10% rayon. And then this one is very beautiful. It's Breathe Deep and it's in mauve. I think that's really pretty and it's really soft. It is 100% polyester. It has a velvety feel to it. Um, it is a number four. Again, it, looks more like a number three, but 
um, and it says to use a four millimeter crochet hook. So usually when it's a number four, they use a five or a 5.5. So um, here's another uh, Uber Lux. And this color is light gray. And these are so squishy. They're so soft. I mean, like so <laughs> soft. Oh, I love them. Um, these are 100% acrylic and they are a six, um, super bulky, uh, 15 millimeter crochet hook, which is a P or Q. Um, it was $6.99. I got it for $1.74. So I had two of those. Oh no, I had three. I had one in this gorgeous red. Really pretty. This one was called uh, Cranberry. And then I got some that I had already uh, had some from the clearance sale. And they were the Dream Spun. This is Wild Brush. And I'll read this one, but all the other ones are made exactly the same. So I'm not going to go through and read all those. Um, they were $5.99. I got them for $1.49. Um, they're 3.5 ounces, 76 yards, 80% acrylic, and 20% super wash wool. Um, a five weight and recommends a nine millimeter hook. That's kind of a big hook. Um, I'm argumentative tonight. <laughs> I don't mean to be. Oh gosh. Just ignore me. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, this is called Delphinium. I have a lot of these, so I think I want to make a really uh, good blanket. Or I just saw a really uh, it's a free pattern you can pay for it if you don't want the ads um, but it's for the campfire uh, cardigan and all it is is two hexagons um, put together in an L in an L shape and you just sew up the back and sew the top of the arms and you have a cardigan it's really cool um, there's a lot of videos out on it, so I don't know if I'll do it on my channel. Um, if, if you all are interested in, let me know and maybe I will. Um, but I think these are, the Dream Spun are a really good color to do it with. Um, I have the Mountain Blue Bird. It's a really pretty one. I love the pinks in it. Look at those pinks and blues. Those are so pretty. And then I love this one. It was so funny because I almost bought this one online. I had it in my cart and everything and I was like, mm. I have a lot of rainbow yarn. This one's called Laser Show, which I think is a very fitting name for it. So that's so pretty. And then I have two more left. I have Tuscany, which has some really pretty colors in it. I love the oranges and the teals. So pretty. And then this one, oh my goodness. This is the, <laughs> this is the Delphinium, but it's kind of, falling apart so you get to see all the colors that are in it it is just so pretty I just love all the purple so if I do do that cardigan I'm gonna do it in the delphinium so that is my haul of the clearance dye lots from Hobby Lobby um, to think I had a Hobby Lobby 
I have a Hobby Lobby order, but I don't think it's here yet. And that is from when I had COVID. So that will be another video. Um, so <laughs> look for that one. Uh, there will be some tutorials coming up, not just uh, yarn hauls. Um, we got to do something with all this yarn. We can't just uh, let it sit around. Uh, so if you want to see anything in particular, let me know. Um, I am doing some, um, I'm excited to do stuff with this yarn. I'm going to do a video on some of my finished objects and mostly my whips. I have a lot <laughs> going on at one time. Um, some of them are waiting for something else to finish it. Uh, so that will probably be my next video out is my foes and my whips. So, all right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, y'all have a great night and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to talk to y'all. All right. Bye.